the Nessus Security Scanner is one of the best network vulnerability scanning solutions available today. It is a fully portable solution that can be deployed on many different platforms, including Raspberry Pi and various cloud platforms. Regardless of where you are, where you need to go, or how distributed your environment is, chances are that you can deploy the Nessus Security Solution hassle-free. Nessus is designed with an intuitive approach to navigation and user experience. This includes a resource center to guide you with actionable tips and guidance on the next steps to take. Even the smallest companies that lack full-time cybersecurity staff can stay on top of vulnerabilities with Nessus, customizing comprehensive scans to meet unique business needs. Continue watching this video to learn how to deploy the Nessus Security and Vulnerability Scanner in the cloud on the Amazon Lightsol service. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to show you how to first deploy the Linux Ubuntu instance that we're actually going to use to complete this uh, tutorial. So open up the Amazon Lights or service, and then on the dashboard, click on the Create Instance button. Proceed by clicking on the Change Region and Availability Zone link, and then you then need to choose any one region from the list of available options. So I'm just going to proceed by clicking the Sydney region, click on OS only, and then choose the Ubuntu 20.04 uh, Blueprint. Scroll down to the Choose Your Instance Plan section, choose the $10 plan, and on the Identify Your Instance section, you need to give the instance a name. So in this case, I'm going to set the name for this instance to Nessa Server. So click on the Create Instance button to complete the instance creation process. So copy the public IPv4 address for the instance, and then open up the uh, Amazon Route 53 service. So click on Route 53, and then click on Hosted Zones. You now need to click on any one hosted zone for your registered domain names and then click on create record. So we're going to create an A record that maps to the public IPv4 address that we copied earlier. So set the record name to Nessa server and then in the value field, paste in the public IP address for the instance and then click on the create records button. Once the records creation process is complete, you then need to return back to the Amazon Lightsol dashboard and then click on the instance name. On the Connect tab, click on the Download Default Key link and then you should now see the key pair file for the instance being downloaded through to your downloads directory. So we're going to rename this key pair file to nessuskey.pem. And then you now need to then open up your terminal application and then change your working directory to the downloads directory. Run the command chmod400 and then type in the file name for the key pair file. So next, run the command ssh-i, append the file name for the key pair file, and then type in ubuntu at the public IPv4 address for the instance. So I'm just going to copy that address and then paste that into your terminal window. So if you press enter, you should now see a prompt asking you if you're sure to continue connecting. So just type in yes and press end. So you should now be connected to the instance via SSH. So the next thing that I'm, that I'm actually going to do is to run the command sudo su to change to the root user account and then run the command apt update. So that will then go through to the then download some essential updates that are actually needed for this uh, installation. So next, I'm then going to run the command hostname ctl, set hostname, and then we're just going to set that to a NASA server. And then I'm then going to edit the etc host configuration file. And then I'm also going to type in this uh, host name that I've actually just configured. So that's going to be nessaserver.mydomainname.com and then nessaserver at the end. So press Control O, press Enter, and then press Control X to exit out of that file. So we're then going to edit the cloud.cfg config file. And in, in this file, we're then just going to set the preserve host name parameter to true. So this will just make sure that every time we restart this instance that our custom host name will actually persist across those reboots. So um, once you've actually completed these changes, the final thing you need to do is you need to restart this instance so that all of these changes will actually take effect. So just type in reboot and press end. So the next step is to download the nessus.deb file for the Linux Ubuntu distribution. So um, I'm just going to reconnect to the instance now. 
and then just type in sudo su again just to change to the root user account so um the next thing you now need to do is you then need to go to i'll actually include a link to this uh, download page in the video description but basically when you get to this page you need to select the nessus version and then you then need to choose the linux ubuntu amd platform you then need to copy the download uh, link and then paste that into your terminal window so you should now see the download process in in, in progress actually and then if you run the ls command you should actually now see the nessus.deb file being listed out in the directory actually so i'm then going to start the installation process so just type in the command tpkg and then specify the i parameter and then type out the name for the .deb file and as you can see the installation is now complete so you just need to copy and paste that command to start the nessus scanner so if you paste in that command the service should actually be running now so let me just run a status check just to see if the service is actually running so as you can see the service is actually marked as active and running so next to return back to the amazon lysol dashboard and then click on the networking tab so you just need to scroll down through to the ipv4 file section and then you need to add a rule to open up uh, https port 443 so i'm just going to set that to https and then click on the create uh, button so once that port has been opened up you need to add another rule that will actually open up custom tcp port 8h34 so just type in 8h34 in the port or range field and then click on create so once that port has been uh, opened up you then need to open up a new browser window and then type in the custom a record or subdomain that you actually pointed to the instance and then append the 8h34 port number at the end of that url um, okay so it seems like i need to change my connection to use https here so let me just update the url to https then present so uh, if you get that connection is, is not private uh, prompt you just need to proceed through with the connection so here we're just going to choose the nessus essentials uh, version and then click on continue so you now need to type in your name and then also type in your last name as well as a valid email address in the email field and then click on the email button so you actually get an activation code that you will actually need to proceed with the installation so we're actually going to be installing the essentials version which is actually the open source edition of the nessa security scanner so let me just open up my email client and copy through the activation code so i'm just going to copy that through to the activation code field in the web browser and then click on the continue button so i'm just going to type in a username which is just administrator and then i'm then also going to type in a password so let me just type in a password there and then click on the submit button okay so let's see if this is going to act but i'm actually getting an activation failed error message so let me just uh, double check the code that i typed in and i actually left out a character so i'm just going to copy and paste that code once again so let me just paste that in and then click on continue okay so the setup process is now complete and we just have to wait for the download and initialization process to complete so here the system is actually now downloading a few plugins that are actually needed for the scanner to actually work so once the plugins download process is complete it now needs to then compile these plugins into the system so that you can actually run some scans but once the compilation process is complete you should now see a list of plugins that are actually being uh, listed out on the scan templates uh, page so there's a, a whole bunch of stuff that you can do you can run a malware scan you can run a web application test you can run a basic uh, network scan and a whole lot more so that's been it guys that's a quick look at how you can install nessus in the cloud on the amazon light cell service I hope this tutorial has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.